So will the support of the Federal Reserve intervention, especially the corporate bond purchasing today, can it lift the market back to the February highs? I can't believe we're even asking. Doug Sandler is chief equity strategist at Riverfront Investment Group, and Kathy Entwistle is senior VP with UBS Wealth Management. Kathy, I'll just start with you. I mean, the fact that we'd ask about going back to the highs says a lot about how far we've come off the lows. What do you think happens from here? Well, it's interesting. I think that we're going to see some settling in the market. Everybody's been really nervous. Uh, March was a, a horrific month, the up and down, um, even in April, until the Fed came in and they started taking on all these programs. That's added calmness to the market. That's what we need. And we need to know that there's backstops and there's more liquidity coming behind this. And we're, and we're seeing that. So I think that investors generally are feeling better about what they hold and what they might want to hold going forward. Doug, how much further support uh, do you think the market has priced in from the Federal Reserve, or, or are they pricing in anymore? I mean, is it just that everything that they've done so far is enough because a lot of these programs are just now starting to launch? Yeah, I think the, the, the Federal Reserve gave the market the confidence that they'll do anything and everything necessary. And it's a, it's a big difference in the financial crisis. Financial crisis, we had multiple programs, and each time investors had an opportunity to gauge whether that program was calibrated correctly and was going to be enough. Uh, we didn't have that argument this time because right off, right out of the gate, they said they will do anything and everything, uh, and they'll be sort of the liquidity provider of last resort. So it's given investors confidence that they don't have to worry about when the SBA program runs out or when, you know, if such and such a program is going to be big enough because we know they have uh, the Fed and Congress has our back. Yeah, and you have five reasons why you think markets are going higher. Uh, so it sounds like you're pretty bullish even after the rebound that we've seen, Doug. I think consensus is that, you know, markets are probably going to go down and retest or there's not, it's going to take a lot for it to go higher. I don't think that's the case. I think there's a lot of groundwork that's been laid. Uh, right now, we expect the market to, you know, continue to go higher at a modest rate. But there's good reason for it to accelerate. And I think some of the things we're learning with our economy, really how resilient it is. Um, the fact that we can solve problems a lot more quickly with the network world, lots of data and, fat and you know, tons of computing power, uh, gives me a view that the economy is a little less fragile than we all thought it was. And we now know that monetary authorities around the world have our back as risk takers. And Kathy, I know you also think the worst is probably over for the markets and that you're betting on digital transformation. And, you know, I'm reminded of the Twitter news today that they're going to let employees work from home permanently. So, I'm not sure that's a great sign for Silicon Valley and for San Francisco, which had been uh, benefiting so much from all these Silicon Valley workers over the last couple of years. But, you know, if you can now have a distributed workforce across the country using technology and that can be a permanent change, who do you think is a beneficiary of that? I think any of the companies, even pre-COVID, but certainly post-COVID, who are able to provide um, digital opportunities, um, e-commerce, um, any of the artificial intelligence, robotics, anything, supply chain, anything that is going to make our lives easier. And the common theme you know, underlying this is technology. And we're talking about this fourth industrial revolution and taking the digital uh, uh, technology from the third revolution and into the new one faster you know, broader, more in depth. And I think that will be a huge help for, you know, where we're going with this. All right. And again, work uh, from home. Yep. All of it. NASDAQ, a beneficiary of the outperformer again today, trying for a, a multiple day win streak. Uh, thank you both for your thoughts today. Kathy Entwistle and Doug Sandler on these markets. More